everybody, today I'm cooking with Tim. And Tim is gonna tell me what we're cooking because I haven't cooked this, this is his recipe, so. All right, it's not my recipe, but it's my take on it. So if you ever ate at TGI Fridays, this is what's called our chicken de jean. So the first thing we're gonna do is mix up the ingredients that's gonna be the sauce topping. So here you go, here's where we're gonna show you what goes in there. First part, we're starting with a cup of Chablis. So then we got um, Dijon mustard, obviously. It was probably a tablespoon. So then we'll throw in like a teaspoon of black pepper, uh, probably half a teaspoon of salt. This is like for a double batch. Then you got oregano, stuff that I'm a huge fan of, sage. I like to go light on sage. So we're gonna mix this up, put it in our little dish here. All right, we're gonna set this aside for later. We have our pasta cooking. Cook your pasta ahead of time. All right, we're gonna prep our chicken here. We're gonna dip it in flour, then we're gonna dip it in egg, then in panko. Our egg is just a beat up egg with a little bit of uh, heavy cream. Nice. All right, nice. we got our pan heating up with a little olive oil. We're gonna get the chicken in. And then we're going to add a little bit of butter to crisp it up and minced garlic. All right, while those are cooking a little bit, we're going to get our Alfredo started. So two cups of heavy cream, a little bit of garlic, a couple of egg yolks, let it reduce. We're going to get some egg yolks. You know how you separate it? It's a cool little tool. If you've never seen one of these, you got to buy one of these. All right, we got our egg yolk separated. And today we are shredding Parmesan Reggiano. All right, we're using the salad shooter. I used to make fun of this as a kid because of the commercials. Actually, just go research the old commercials. They're kind of funny. This The salad shooter, and they're aiming it like a gun and everything, but my wife picked one of these up, and she's a gadget queen. And I'll tell you what, it's great for shredding cheese. This is gonna make the job real easy. Check this out. Say when. When? when? So I do have a question for you. What do you call a vegetarian with diarrhea? Salad shooter. That's too funny right there. <laughs> All right, that's it. Check out the salad shooter. I'll put a link right down in the description. All right, we're gonna get our chicken flipped over here. This doesn't have to be all the way done. We got it most of the way done. We're gonna finish this off in the oven and we're gonna keep stirring as we reduce this Alfredo sauce. We haven't added the cheese yet. We haven't added the egg yet. I'm gonna keep stirring because this will burn. All right, so we're gonna get our chicken off. We're Put it on a cookie sheet here. And we're gonna wilt two pounds of spinach. We're gonna get a little olive oil in here and wilt the spinach. And we're gonna put our garlic in here. All right, we're gonna put a lid on this. We're gonna help heat this up a little bit. We're gonna add the two egg yolks to this and whip it up right. really good. And what do the egg yolks do for this? Thickening, hand flavor. Freshly grated Parmesan Reggiano. All of it? Yep. Yeah. All right, that sauce is getting thick. Parmesan's melting nice. And you're gonna wanna turn this about every minute or so. You don't want your spinach burning. All right, how far do we want to cook the spinach? Just a little bit longer. Our oven's preheated. Mm -hmm. How are we doing here? I think you're about ready. So now you're portioning that over the top of the chicken. So we're just going to put some spinach on each piece here. Try to make it look as fancy as we can. We're using all of the spinach, right? Forearms like Popeye after eating the spinach. Actually, I think it's going to be from holding this pan. Let it set. We're going to heat up the ham. All right, so we're just going to warm it, brown it. Just heat it up. Just getting the ham warm. Look at how nice and thick that is. You should probably taste it. Mm, that's gonna be tasty. Yep, throw in your noodles. All right, so we're just warming this ham through here. And then what are we gonna do? We're gonna put it on top of the spinach. Yep. Covered by Swiss cheese. Just one slice each into our oven at 350 about 10 minutes all right we're gonna get some heat back on this pan put our design mixture in all of, all of it i'm gonna bring this to a boil bring it to a boil it's gotta reduce all right so our dijon mixture is reduced down a little bit we're gonna add about four ounces of heavy cream and we're gonna mix this in let it reduce even more it looks and smells delicious i can't wait for the tasting part of this all right it's been about 10 minutes we're gonna get this chicken out of the oven and this has been reducing about the same amount of time the chicken's been in the oven. We're just going to spoon just a little bit of it over each piece. We're going to garnish with Alfredo. All right, here we go. Here's our finalized chicken Dijon. Chicken Dijon. The side of Alfredo. Side of fettuccine Alfredo. All right, so only one thing left to do, and that's taste this stuff. Oh, Let me taste this uh, fettuccine Alfredo. That's full of Parmesan. I can taste some garlic. Let's see if we got our chicken right. Oh, yeah, look at that chicken. You did. Chicken's cooked perfectly there. Nice and tender. I feel like Chef Ramsay on Hell's Kitchen here. I'm trying to make sure I get a little bit of everything in a bite. I'm gonna piss off. Apparently I'm out of the kitchen now. <laughs> That's what you'd say.
Wow. This dish is a keeper, for sure. I like your recipe. It's all about the sauce. It's all about the sauce. Thanks for stopping. Click that thumbs up, like this video, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Thanks for stopping. See ya.